What's up Wildcats? This is Ava Veldrin from High Point's social media program and today we're going to talk about the club, pass it along, what it is, and what their plans are for the future. I'm actually part of Pass It Along and I think it's a great club and I really enjoy it. And you get so many opportunities for gaining community service hours and you get to do great things for your community and it's just such a good club all around. Um, today I talked to the leaders Kylie Bork and McKenna Percy about their insight on the club and this is what they had to say. I'm Kylie Bork and I'm the co-president along with McKenna Percy of the Pass It Along Club here at High Point. Hi everyone, my name is McKenna Percy and I'm a senior at High Point Regional High School and I am co-president of Pass It Along. So Pass Along at High Point is a great opportunity for students to volunteer, to get involved in our community and to help others and it's a great community service option for any student who is looking to get some community service hours. All members of our club get some community service hours at the end of the year. So this is our main question for the leaders. What exactly is Pass Along? This club is based on the Pass Along organization outside of school whose mission is to build strong, confident, and compassionate teenagers who have the tools and opportunities to make a difference in our world. They offer three different programs called Go Lead, Service Corps, and Volunteer Lead. And I have had the privilege of being a part of Go Lead as a sophomore and Service Corps now as a junior. Go Lead gives you the platform to develop your leadership skills through participation in projects and events, while Service Corps takes on bigger projects and gives you the platform to plan and take on a project of your own. Volunteer Lead is an opportunity for teenagers to join and participate in committees of already existing programs. While it may be difficult to participate and commit to these programs outside of school with the restrictions of sports and academics, this club within High Point gives you those same opportunities, but can be done at your discretion. While we emphasize that you are committed to being a part of the club when you sign up, we also give abundance of volunteer options so you can pick the right fit for you. And while you will be rewarded for your participation with community service, we also like to instill self-satisfaction, which means feeling happiness in yourself for your own compassionate efforts without the need of a reward. But although this feeling may be enough for some, we want to thank all of you for taking the time to help others by providing you with hours of community service. If you want to participate in all projects, we are thrilled that you've opted to do so. But if you cannot financially afford a project or you're just a little overwhelmed with school, we completely understand if you choose simpler projects that have the same impact as bigger ones. We appreciate any and all contributions and make sure we always maintain open lines of communication so we can get great ideas from every member of our club and pursue the projects that mean the most to the individuals in our club. Hmm. So, what does Pass It Along do? We do a lot of service projects to help people in our community and even outside our community. We normally do um, something called Tilly's Kids, which is when we would, as a club, go to a school and get to spend the day with kids and the students there. But unfortunately, we're unable to do that this year because of COVID. So instead, we've accomplished so many community service projects already uh, this half of the first half of the year. Wow, so what have you done so far? Uh, those include our note in a coat drive, we did a COVID kit drive where we made little individual kits with masks, gloves, and hand sanitizers, and we gave those to organizations like Mana House, Harvest House, Project Self-Sufficiency, and they were put to good use and they were handed out with uh, the meals at Mana House and Harvest House, and they were handed out to those at Project Self-Sufficiency. We also did a project in December. We did a few projects last month. Uh, we did a reverse advent calendar, uh, which is when all of our members came in on a certain day and dropped off a item for uh, an animal shelter, and we donated those items at the end of the month to Vernon Animal Shelter, and they we're definitely happy for the supplies since we all know that they need them and that they are in short supply. 
uh, and we were very happy to help them out and it was nice to see how excited they were and how the animals will impact from our donations. We also did a Hero Boxes project where, where a group of students or individual students would make a care package that we delivered overseas to a unit in the military uh, that was a lot of fun. That's great. Having that much done in a pandemic is super impressive. So what are your future plans? Upcoming projects. We recently did a survey of what projects we could do for the upcoming months and everybody had fantastic ideas. While everything is still up in the air for the spring months, we hope to fill plastic Easter eggs with candy and notes to be given to teen moms in senior care facilities, paint rocks to leave around Sussex County to brighten the day of anybody who finds them, donate care packages of coloring books, crayons, and pencils to low-income kids and compadres to help them find some relief from the stress of isolation. We would also like to do something to recognize first responders, support the families who rely on Pretty in Pink games for funds, and do monthly exercise classes with elementary school students. Those are just a few ideas that our members have come up with, and there is still room for more ideas to come. And although COVID may cause some restrictions for the upcoming projects, we will continue to do our best to provide as many opportunities to support the community as we can. I'm excited for the month of February. This year, we will be leaving care packages in our mailbox for National Mail Carrier Day, create heart dream catchers to donate for Valentine's Day, and writing Valentine's Day letters to recognize the hard work of the teachers within our school. Feel free to contact McKenna or I if you have any questions, and we'd love to hear from you. Those sound like some great future plans. Pass Along is primarily a student-run club, but the teacher advisor is Mrs. Moss. So if you wanna join the club, as we'd love to see you in upcoming years, you can contact Mrs. Moss, McKenna, or Kylie. As you can see, the more you do for your community, the better you feel and the more helpful you become. This is Ava Veldrin with High Point Social Media Program, and I thank you for watching.